but to come. The University of Wisconsin Badgers have spent much of this year ranked among the top five teams in the country. But their excellence on the court is just one of many reasons why they're worth cheering for. And our Goldberg looks at the lessons that all of those drive through U's and Billy Bob Techs could learn from what's happening at Wisco. It's a lovely winter day in Madison, Wisconsin. Temperature, six degrees, below zero. With the wind chill factored in, it's a balmy 15 below. Yes, it's a perfect day to just sit around and go fishing. About the only thing hot around here this time of year is the basketball team at the University of Wisconsin. How hot? The Badgers were ranked number one in the nation for a while this season. At one point, they won 17 games in a row, and they've won 91 of their last 96 games at home. Music to the ears of their fans, who are known as the Grateful Red. And they've done it all without a hint of scandal, with players who actually graduate. But before you say, why is that news, consider this. Are we really shocked anymore when we read headlines about cheating scandals? or players arrested on drug charges, or gun charges, or drunk driving charges, or even murder charges. And who really expects top college basketball players to graduate? The average graduation rate among the top 25 ranked teams is a little more than 50%, according to the latest NCAA figures, which also point out that some major universities graduate as few as 12%, or even 7% of their basketball teams. Wisconsin is graduating more than 70% of their recent players. And this season, all three seniors are on track to get their degrees. A lot of guys go to universities and they're being used. And I said the one thing, you know, in my head, I was going to use the university and get a degree. You know, I'm not going to be here, you know, just for, as entertainment. All-American Orlando Tucker isn't just the star of the team. And he's not just a candidate for National College Player of the Year. Tucker is a rarity in big-time college basketball, a superstar who refused to leave school early for the riches of the NBA and who later this year is going to graduate. Way to get it done, baby. Tucker came to Madison via Lockport, Illinois, where he grew up in a part of town that no one confuses with Norman Rockwell's America. I grew up around a lot of drug, gang violence, alcoholism. You know, seeing death, seeing violence. This is where he and his older brother Antonio, who is a police officer now, made a vow. I had to be around 12 years old. He was like 16. Uh, and he, we made a vow never to drink, never to smoke, you know, never to get tattoos. You don't drink? No, I don't drink. You don't smoke? Don't smoke. It's all part of the vow. Yeah, yeah. But it's not to say I don't have a good time. I still go out with my teammates. I can hang around, you know, all that stuff and block it out. I don't need that. Do you ever say, geez, I came from an area where I saw kids die, and I, I went to school with kids who are dead, and I'm going to get my degree from a major, top-tier university. Those are th the things that I think about, you know, how lucky I am to, to be in this position. Wisconsin may not be the number one basketball team in the country this week, but it was recently ranked the number one party school in the country by no less an authority than Playboy magazine. On top of that, it's one of the top academic institutions in America, which is why the Badgers head coach, a man whose players say looks like Pauly Walnuts of the Sopranos, set down the law. You got to go to class. You have responsibilities. Nobody's doing your work for you. You say and, that to me. Oh, absolutely. Bo Ryan may be the most successful coach in college basketball you never heard of. Before he got to Madison, Ryan was flying under the radar. For 15 years, he had been head coach at the University of Wisconsin Platteville, a Division III school. And even though he won four national championships there, the Pioneers, national champs, even though they recently named the court after him, <laughs> even though he's got the highest winning percentage of any college basketball coach, who's been on the job for at least 20 years, he was still bohoo to most sports fans. And Wisconsin turned him down twice before finally giving him the job six years ago when he was 53. How tough is it 
if you know there's a kid out there who you might be able to get, he's really, really good, but he has no interest in education, and he's not even faking it, how difficult is it to say, next, I just, I just don't want him? Bernie, there have been young men that have come here, and while the professor or the dean of one of the schools was talking to him, he was text messaging. <laughs> we just stopped recruiting the kid. Coach, honest, no matter how good he is? No matter how good he is. I mean, there's been a couple guys, and they signed at major institutions, and we'll have to play against them. Okay. So what? Well, what do you mean, so what? I'll play yeah. with the guys that I have that want to be here, that want to take care of business, and I want people that are interested. Life is so much more fun when you're around people who are interested. The philosophy seems to be working. I want smart players that make good decisions all the time. Since Bo Ryan arrived six years ago, the Badgers have not missed even one NCAA tournament. Before he got here, they went a grand total of seven times in 63 years. You know this guy? I think so. I think we've met before. You have anything nice to say about him? Oh, yeah. Best coach in America. I love him. I love I've him. been with him every not, day for five years. That's not what you told me. <laughs> oh, I got to go. No. You know, there are schools around the country where they graduate 10% of the kids. 7%, you know, and the, the kids don't go to school. They go to a gymnasium. What do you make of that? I've heard it, you know, from friends around the country. The guys are telling me, well, I don't have to go to class. You go to class. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm list listening to this, and it's, it's funny. It's mind-boggling. I'm like, they're like, well, no, we can get people to do work for us. And I'm like, wow. I I've never experienced it because coming here, this is a tough academic school. Mm -hmm. You have to be a, on top of everything here to, to survive. But even at Wisconsin, there have been a few bumps along the academic road. Drive from the corner, throw it to the opposite block. Last year, two of Ryan's players ran into academic trouble and weren't allowed to play. One of them, Greg Steamsma, suddenly didn't want to get out of bed or go to class. Turns out, he was clinically depressed. He saw a doctor, and this year, he's back on the court and back in class. The other player, Marcus Landry, was stretched a little thin. He was commuting back and forth from Milwaukee part of the year to see his wife, who also plays college ball at Marquette. And oh yeah, to provide refreshments for their daughter. This year, he's rooming with Tucker, who got him to focus on school. At a lot of universities where sports are very important, the term student athlete is an oxymoron. John Wiley is the chancellor at the University of Wisconsin. Here? Our student athletes are students. They're students first, athletes second. As with most big organizations, the tone is set at the top. So if someone came in, you know, the proverbial man from Mars came in and said, what do you do right, Chancellor? Well, I think in general you get what you insist on. Uh, and any school in the country could do exactly what we're doing. If there are overly aggressive fans, boosters, alumni, donors who are insisting on winning at all costs or at any cost, um, it's possible to ignore them. It's possible to say, this is more important than your gift. It's easy to say. This is the championship trophy yep. when Wisconsin won the NCAA championship in 1941. Yep. 41. Yep. The only time. The only time. I'll tell you what, I kind of like uh, the way this decor decorates the room. You'd like another yeah. one right next to oh, that, you know? That certainly would look nice, wouldn't it? So, is it March Madness to think they can do it again, 66 years later? This time with one of the top players in the country who thinks there are more important things in life than basketball, and with the most successful college coach you had never heard of, who just happens to agree. When I recruit a player, I'm always looking for someone who feels that they still have a long way to go, both in the classroom and on the basketball court. I want hungry people. And if we're not preparing these guys for what's coming later, we are failing them miserably. Bernie, once they get the athletes in, in Madison, what's, what's Wisconsin do that the other schools don't? The real point, I think, is what happens before they get the students at Madison. They pick only certain kinds of student athletes, the kind who are going to go to class, the kind who are going to do their own work, the kind who want to excel in basketball and in academics, and they think Bo Ryan's philosophy is, and the school's philosophy is, 
you're better off even on in basketball and sports in general if you do that. Yeah, this is all very commendable, and and, and applaud Wisconsin and Ryan big right. time. It all works well when they're 22 and five. Right. What happens when they're five and 22? Do his bosses still think it's great that he's got smart, good guys? Yeah. Forgive the cliche, but that's one of those only time will tell stories. You know the old line about how you know we love you, coach. If he were five and 22, would they say we love you, but we're also going to miss you? You know, who knows? Yeah. Uh, I, I could tell you the philosophy at the top in the chancellor's office is uh, we don't want to go down that road. That is a bad road to go down where you take kids who have no interest in getting a degree. Yeah, and isn't it sad that we cheer a school for graduating 7 in 10? Yeah, the overall uh, student body graduation rate is about 8 in 10, and uh, they're striving to beat the overall rate for their athletes. Would be nice. Nice goal. All right, Bray, thanks. Ten years